And welcome in good day, but again, BBPN to the Commonwealth. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes, of course, all around different parts of the world, there we give thanks for, you know, not actually colonizing someone. It's something completely different. So we're going to go to the AD Invitational here. It's season four, round three. So it means it's another round here of the BBPN versus the REBBL. Let's see how crazy this one gets. Yeah, all right, thank you there, Colts for there. He's got the flip, he's got the coin, and now we're going to see how brutal this one is. Yes, you got it. It is one of the more horrible matchups that popped up in there. Well, this is what happens. you got to understand how the AD Invitational does work. That's why there's two rounds. One draft is basically almost all the picks one direction, and then the second round is the picks the other direction. This first round here, the RBBRL had all the favorable picks here. So, this is going to be one of the more nastier ones there. Hang on to your teeth. This is going to be brutal. Dwarves versus Underworld here. Let's take a look at the Dwarves here. Two rerolls. He even has booze. Don't know why. And he has his apothecary. As you can see here, the Dwarves already have started skilling up. This is only game match three. As you can see, no reserves. Doesn't need it then. AG increase of all things. Has his first block on the runner. And mighty blow on the Slayer. Yep, zero surprises there. But someone actually goes and gets a re-roll. You may fire when ready. Yes, indeed. He will be firing when he's ready if he ever figures out where the hell he put his beer. No surprises there. It's a decent on-site kick there for the dwarves. So now the Underworld crew. Yep, it's Underworld. Now have all kinds of problems. They are really going to have to hope this claw can do a lot this game. Really, I'm serious. Claw might be the biggest thing he needs this game. He now has four rerolls, but of course doesn't have the fame. Because they're all cheering for something else. You know, any other matchup but this one. As you can see here, he's ended up with a couple of interesting skills. Movement increase on one thrower, AG increase on the other one. He's got Wrestle on one of the line rats there. Alright, sure hands does come through here. Here we go. Early pass. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, not again. I need to hug a bunny. Right now! Yeah, you saw that right there. Easy pass for an easy catch, and of course he drops it both times. Of course he does, a two followed by a one. Real question is, why are you re-rolling that one? Well, he wanted to do something this turn, and just, well, he had four re-rolls, he figured he could spend it. And of course that's now completely backfired. Now he's out of re-roll and he hasn't achieved anything. Well, he figured he had four. What were the odds? And apparently one in nine. That was his odds here. And here come the dwarves storming in. Let's see if they can kick the ball out. Good solid push. And the ball, well, it's not terrible. But unfortunately, it does favor the dwarves. Because the dwarves can easily tuck players in there. Trust me, they get it tucking things in. You've got a chip on your shoulder. Mm, yes, and a bit of fish, too. Well, they got a bit of something, all right. Well, they're on the way here, as you can see. Carefully screening things up here. Now, this is why Underworld does not like this match up here. Because, let's face it, unless the claw hits something, he's going to have real troubles with this one here. It does have block on the warp stone troll, so that does mean he can actually reliably do blocking with the troll over here. Big it, knocks him flying, that's what he wanted to see. It's just not big enough. Yeah, it's just not good enough either. Here he goes. Two dice. Goes for the wrestle. He'll take the wrestle just to get the bastard down here. Unfortunately, it means he's not blitzing with a claw. The claw is what he really needs to start counter opening these dwarves here. Alright, runs over. And you can see it there. This is how his rolls already are going for this game. He does have the ball, and here we go. Fouling away. And of course, nothing. More dust. More ashes. More disappointment. Of course, there's more disappointment there. <laughs> Burning, looting, bombing, shooting. Yeah, and of course fails the easy dodge because, well, it's dwarves. Sand dwarves suck. 
And now the Dwarves turn two here. Ball is definitely not in any safe or good spot right now here. So the Underworld have got no choice. They're going to have to find a way just to pop the ball out and run. That is basically their only strategy here. Underworld's only advantage in this game is, quite frankly, they can outrun them all day. Good lord, this lad's still alive. There we go. Dwarves pounding away at the poor goblin. Woohoo! He survives! And the dwarves now get to you have to just cage things up. Well, they don't even want to bother caging up. Now they're just going to roll and roll and roll. And you can see here, he's actually able to keep both runners here. It's a smart play, but he's keeping both runners back as free safeties. Because he's giving the scape an absolute fits here. Well, there's a knockdown here. Alright, which way are you going, Sunshine, here? Two dice. See, this is the advantage the troll has with block. The, tr the troll can somewhat reliably throw blocks here. Oh yeah, one die. Gets the head he actually wants with the claw. And nothing. Doesn't risk dodging away with the goblin here. And he's right now he's just going to continue hanging on the ball, waiting for something to happen. Well, the problem is if he's going to keep waiting for something to happen, nothing's going to happen at this rate here. Goblin, cheeky, two die block. Does it? A troll slayer sends him flying. No surprises, he can't break the armor though. Over here, one die does get a push, that's fine. Well, Underworld's gonna have to start moving. That's about the only choice they've got here. And now here we are, dwarves turn two, turn three, turn four. And repeat after me, let's keep picking on the goblin. And indeed, he's done that nicely. And that's how baby dwarves are made. Ah! Underworld's biggest problem in this game, as you can see there, he's only got the one goblin reserve, so he actually has to score and try not to be losing players. And that's not happening. Let's get to fighting. Yeah, this is becoming a bit of a problem. This is becoming more than a bit of a problem. You're now down two players on injuries. There we go, blitzing away here. Gets the big hit on the throw and knocks him down. Fails the dodge, though. We must defeat the dwarves. Oh, we are the dwarves. Oh. And decides to actually spend a precious reroll. Well, then again, he's got two playing advantage. He can kind of get away with it. Big hit on the goblin here. Now he can turn the corner if he wants, which he'll likely do so. And the dwarves continue to be conservative here. Yeah, here we go. Turns the corner, gets the GFI. No gerbils today. And now, frankly, if you are the Underworld, you just got to go. You can't stay here any longer, lad. Alright, he's marked this one up. Trying to get the removal. Of course, it's only a push. Cannot get the knockdown here. Stays in position, though. Goes for the Blitz away. Does get it there. Now, there's a hit. And he even gets a KO out of that one there. A death by inches. Yeah, well, it's an inch of something, all right. Yeah, he'll take a precious KO. He just wishes it was a real injury. Big knockdown over here. All right, lads, where are you hiding the ball? Let's find out. Yeah, he's going to tuck it in here. And he's still waiting for something to happen. Finally, goblins do make an epic dodge. Gets over here. That's what he's going to need over there. Tries the dodge, and of course, that doesn't work. Obliterated. Tries it again, and of course fails it again because it's a horrible misclick. At least it seems that way, doesn't it? Where were you going? A one in a three. Well, he's looking for fours. He was hoping to just get in a better position, and of course that doesn't work. Meanwhile, dwarves doing what they do best. Oh, Cosmodan! <laughs> oh, God. Dwarves, you gotta love them some days. As you can see, yeah, he still has a free safety or two here. You see, this is why he was thinking trying to get this player here somehow. He just wanted to tie this section up here. The dwarves are easily able to keep shotting back and forth here. His underworld's not stretching him out. Underworld, unfortunately, scrumming. Many ones you can see here, the dwarves have ID. They've got to get rid of him. He's really the only threat they've got. Because unfortunately, there's just not enough goblins to be fouling, so that's not working either. Oh dear. Hello! Yeah, indeed. Oh, yeah, he's going to split his pre-head open, isn't he, there? 
Well, Underworld's going to try and find a way to get out of this one. And of course he won and nines it. Not once, but twice. And there was much rejoicing. Yeah, you can see the frustration of the broadcast booth for the Underworld squad. It's just going completely wrong here. Two cracks at it, and of course he won and nines both of them. Both to the favor of the dwarves. Of course it is. Dwarves easily storm in. There's the ball. Ball goes flying. No surprises there. I can't shoot straight unless I've had a paint. And again, favorable bounce for the dwarves. Easy pick up, easy run. There he goes. Show us a target. Yeah, well, we all knew this was going to be a matchup that was not in favor of the PvP in there. Underworld versus dwarves. It is a nasty, nasty matchup. The only exception is that the Underworld's actually got A, a bunch of skills, and B, plenty, I mean plenty, of actual goblins. And he doesn't have that many, he only had the spare. He's already down two injuries, though. As for the Dwarves, off and moving here. And so far, they're just making everything. Yes, the Dwarves are dodging. That's how bad it's going here. Alright, Underworld. Well, now Underworld's plan is try and get the bloody ball back. Not to show how good a plan is, but he is going to try. Big it, big nothing, of course. Makes the dodge away. Comes in with the wrestles, going all out for a... God. Gerbils it up, not once, but of course, twice. Oh! You sense he's not having a good day. No, no, absolutely not a good day. Total discuss. That's all nuffling. Wood in 36. That is now the second time he's popped that one there. You think the dwarves will return the favor? Of course fucking not. Dwarves on the move here. Now they just get covered up and try and go in for the score here. Yes, it's a defensive touchdown by the dwarves. Moving things around here. Now, this is him being smart. I will admit to being smart. you got to keep an eye out for the clue. Big potch knocks him. Well, so far, the, the goblins are doing their best. Meanwhile, the stunty little bastard's moving. Yes, he's going to go for the handoff. Why greed? And of course it works. Why wouldn't it work? I'm TNT. I'm Dino Mate. You know, all you're looking for is it actually failing for once, and of course it doesn't. Meanwhile, the dwarves, you know, Where's me drink? just keep on pummeling away. Two dice up here, and of course, yep, rolls yet another one in nine. Fun fact, Underworld, over half his rolls on blocks have been one in nines. He's just not having a good day here. Alright, now he wants something to work. One die gets only a push, he wouldn't have minded anything. Oh, well, except for a skull, you'll live with that. And here we go. Fails the dodge, of course he does. How quickly the tide turns. Indeed it did, indeed it did. Dwarves, turn seven. Well, they can either score it or stall it, and yep, he's gonna stall this one. Everyone's all moving around there. He's not too worried about it. Nothing really Underworld can do about this one here. Well, pummelings, that is what the dwarves can do. Yes, of course, someone's on his cell phone. Well, that was overdue. He's been using it for seven straight turns. He finally won in sixes. You can't complain about that, really. Yeah. You can complain all about the rest of the dice. And, of course, yep, two dice. Easy hit. And easy knock down into the claw. Over here, two dice. Hey, look, it gets another hit. Sends him flying. Like I said, you know, you make you not even wish it got into the stadium there. Well, we did say it was a grim matchup. Big punch to the mighty blow. Gets the stun. Don't shoot, shoot, shoot that thing at me. Now, he'd love to shoot that thing at you, but all he's getting is pushes and one and nines. He can't get a solid hit. The KO was a bloody miracle. All right, here we go. Big hit. Finally, it's Troll Slayer. Can't even get him. Maybe. What are you going to do? Bleed on me? Well, he's going to split his head open if he has his way. Meanwhile, the claw stands back up. Goblin fires two dice. Does get the hit. Can't, you know... You know, that's just optimistic. I don't think he's even going to get any out of there. Moves over. Time for turn eight there. Dwarves, they do not fall around there. They're just going to get the score in. It is one to nil.
And we're into halftime. Halftime score. It is 1-0 for the IBBL Dwarves. This halftime course has been brought to you by Australia. Remember how proud you are of those colours and what they truly stand for. Australia, Australia, Australia. God love you. All right, let's get back on the field there and see what can we do to try and recover this one here. Stop could be easy, is it? All right, let's turn this around here. Underworld only had the one reserve. Two early injuries. Fortunately for them, that's all there was. As for the Dwarves, of course the KO for Woods doesn't recover. And he actually has Boo, so that's a bit unfortunate. It's about the only bit of luck the Underworld teams actually had. So it's 10 on 10 here. But remember, Dwarves on the offense here, and they do have a 1 to nil here. No fan factor was rolled for either team here. Both teams still have the apothecaries here. Underworld does have the advantage, though, of having three rerolls to two. Fat lot of good. It's done them. All right, here we go. Solid kick, and yes, the Dwarves can get moving. Of course they can. Hey, you! Catch! Yeah, they're going to catch something, all right. Hopefully they catch Gangrene. And yep, they're on the move here. Free move for everybody here. See, this is down the fun part. With an 84 Dwarf, you can actually start getting a passing game going. I'm serious. All right, what are the Dwarves going to do this time here? All right, smart bit of play there. And yes, I guess you've seen the Skaven game from the IEBBL. <laughs> Never assume it's an easy pickup. Always plan for failure. Hope to be disappointed. God, this lad's already going to be leveling up. He's going to get levels up all over the place here. All right, big it. Shoot the kill! Yeah, he is trying to shoot the kill, isn't he there? He's doing a great job. Now, well, dwarves are charging in here. Another big it on the line. Sends the line rat flying there. Hey, look, survivor. It's an amazing thing, isn't it here? Two dice into the other line rat. Yep. That's always been the fun with with the underworld there. The Skaven basically are what have to do all the hard work. The key, I hate to say it, is the goblins. Because the goblins can do all kinds of weird stuff. Now oh, look, he's got the ball. Hello. Yes, indeed. And he's got nicely screened up. And he's in no fucking hurry. And now back to underworld here on turn nine. Yeah, he's praying the rolls can actually hit something nice and solid like. And frankly, the reality is he really needs the claw to do something. Claw hasn't done anything, and as you can see, yep, yeah, he's twiddling his thumbs on twatter. Two dice. Big push. Why is that no surprise? Alright, goes charging in here. Gets a big hit. Gets him knocked down here. Can he get anything? No, nope, nothing there. Well, again, he is trying to face AV9. Big one die. Does risk it there. He's having to press things a little bit harder than normally. If that's what she said. One die out. Well, there's the skull. Decides to re-roll that. Gets a push there. But there goes a precious re-roll early. Does he rescue the player? Nope. Not getting him dug out of that one just yet there. And welcome to turn 10. Dwarves. Well, there's nothing here screening. So they can just chuck a looker, chuck a looker, chuck a looker, chuck a looker. Yeah, it's the Dwarven Steam Train on its way. Now over the top here with the AG4. Does get a big hit. Yeah, gets the delivery. And there's the punch. I've got the beast in my sights. Well, he was in the sights all right. And there's a bit of a problem there. Without anything else covering him here. Yeah, that was an easy peel away. Third injury against Underworld. No response still from Underworld. Yep, Dwarves are just coasting on this one here. Yeah, easy formation. Yeah, fun fact, you don't need this. No, I'm serious, you don't need it. Why are you caging? You really don't need the bloody thing. No, oh, well, I guess he's just playing it nice and cautious. Oh, well, that's fair enough. He can do that. Two dice here. Bring it into the dwarf. Still nothing, of course. No surprises here. Again, he really needs the claw to stop delivering. Even getting him KOs would be a huge thing right now. Push me, push you. Still nothing going on here. Well, yeah, all kinds of options there. But like I said, he's not been feeling it here today. Oh, there's a big hit. And he got one! And there was much rejoicing. Finally! 
He bags one. It's Elliot normal casually. But he'll take it. And now here we go. Tries block or block bugger. Not exactly what he wanted here. But suddenly Underworld. Breath of life. Yeah, how about you brief this? Come on. Yay for murder. Did he get him? Nah, it's only a stun. Oh! <laughs> you can hear the scream there for the dog out. Oh, uh, well, Dwarves aren't happy about that one there, but it is forcing the Dwarves they are going to have to score this. The cart is hanging around here. Can Underworld come back? That's always a possibility, yeah. Remember, Underworld is one of those teams who can definitely pull off one turn. Touchdowns, if things go, you know, sort of well for a change. Push me, push you, goes the frenzy. Big solid block, big hit, big delivery. Come on, Shorty. On our way. Ah, cool. They're just bloating the casualty turtles on this one there, aren't they? And the dwarves just continue to put the pummeling in there. Push me, push you. Chooses not to follow up. Of course not. It's the claw. Why would he want to follow that thing up there? Hey, one die. Dwarves miss for a change. And he actually does follow up. That's actually not a smart idea. But then again, Underworld hasn't really made him pay for it, has he? That might be the only mistake he's made all game. Yeah, like I said, he's just not paying for his mistakes, is he? All right, two dice here. Well, you'll take the wrestle. That's fine. Troll... Of course he's stupid, of course he is. Gets on his phone. Well, that's only the second time this game. Take a turn 11, it's about right. There we go. Big Blitz here coming in with the claw. He'd like to go and get some casualties here. Gets the face rip here. Does he get him? Well, he knocked him over. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. Don't you wish? And there's the foul. I mean, I'm fisting him to death. I'm sorry. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Panda! Fucking Rippadabba! Stupid! Shut up! And then you can see here, this again, that's the Underworld's fate for today. Basically, Wood in Nines its skull, rerolls block, down he goes. That's what she said. That has been his fate most of this game. Dwarves on to 12 here. Well, they do have the advantage of done four casualties here, so from the Dwarf viewpoint, they can go for a blowout. Which at this point is actually the smartest plan. Why stall it? We can get extra touchdowns. You certainly have the players for it. You do have a big play advantage. And foolishly, he's actually decided to go and stall that. Of course he has. Hey, you! Catch! Excuse me, Sunshine. Zero reason to stall. You've got an advantage. He's down to only eight players. You might have nine, but you do have the advantage here. Why stall? All you're doing is depriving yourself of SPP. And that's what you get for it there. Decimated. See? You should have scored. That's what you rightfully get for it. Lucky there. Push me, push you there from the claw. Yeah, and Underworld's fighting right back at this point here. Push me, push you. They're trying to make something magically happen here. Comes charging over here. All right, goes the two dice here with the goblin. Does get the knock down there. Nicely done. You're a fucking choir boy compared to me. A choir boy. All right, a foul comes in again. Did he get him? Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> All because you stalled, you stupid twat whistle. All because. Oh, Constable Ed. He ruins the fun, unfortunately. He probably has to call that one there. But there's a lesson for you, you stupid twat. Score! That just cost you two casualties. <laughs> you would have been in a very favourable position if you scored 2 0 and you had player superiority. You don't have it anymore. Oh, well, it's amazing what you have to teach these people some days. So, all right, here we go. Dwarves, the remaining dwarves. I didn't think I'd say that in this game. Stand back up to try and get back into this game here. And on the world, they're going to come in swinging here. Yeah, they can even stop pursuing. See if they can force the thing. Two dice. Well, it's a wrestle. Yep, takes that one down here. Yeah, yep. Yeah. I bet on the world's going to foul him again. But you can see what he's doing here. Yeah. yeah. What's the claw to do all kinds of wonderful things here? Two dice gets the knockdown here. There's a big hit. 
And meanwhile over here, push mate again, Claw as it delivered there. Oh look, we're gonna foul again! My nipples explode with the nail! Oh there's a stun! Now the dwarves out, you can see there, now they finally have to start bringing players back because they've realized what started happening. They're losing players rapidly here. Big push me, push you, oh well, he's finally realized two turns too late, he scores at last. Yeah, well, he might think so, but that is a bit of a problem here. Let's take a look here. So you already had a four-play advantage. All that got you was an ejection. In return, you actually had to apothecary a critical injury, and you ate another one. Instead, you could have actually been, we only had, you know, you your apothecary, only had the one early injury, and you would have been up still 2 new. Like I said, it's it's just his own bloody fault for doing it. Oh god, but then the dwarves get lucky and they get a blitz. I'm your shooter. Oh lord, yeah. This is horrible right there. Absolutely. Yeah, you can see why the other one go just getting so frustrated, just like the broadcast move. It's almost all trying to favor dwarves here. Key word was on that few turns that Underworld finally got some magic. Here we go, big solid push front line. And of course he gets it. Take that, you sword. Fortunately, it's only a stun there. Yep, Dwarves have now actually burned out the Apothecary. And they are going to make this a true blitz. You know, if he'd actually stacked the line carefully, I don't know. It's like I said, if he'd scored that kickoff, got the blitz. Exactly. Basically, the Dwarves gave up a 3-0 win. Ah, God, unfortunately, I think the damn troll's looking that one up there. Yo, what? Oh, well, he's got the ball there. Run, you little bastard. Roll. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Not his day, is it? Two nice double skulls. Well, that was long overdue. But then again, he's getting sick and tired of this. There it is. He got him. That was strangely arousing. And of course he doesn't break. Oh well, at least it's a stun. Big skull saves his ass. Next one. Big hit. Your creatures are becoming angry. Uh, yeah, you can see here. Finally on the world start to see some dice. Yeah, it's a little light now at this point here. Goblin, one die. Ah, you actually hit something. Well done, young lad. Yeah, I was just asking too much there. Shame about the troll. And now here come the dwarves. Well, they've got, I don't think they can get, get beaten on this one here. Underworld, best they can do is make it two to one. But I tell you there, the dwarves almost gave this game away here. Almost gave it away. They just got lucky because, well, let's face it, the dwarves charging in here. Goes in. Oh, of course, pick on the goblin because you're so manly and tough. Eat mortar. Eat lead. Uh, it must make you feel so masculine, doesn't it? Okay. Underworld on the way here. Yeah, let's get moving, lads. We know what you need to do there. Yep, he's running, trying to get that quick little score, isn't he, there? Well, at least that's his hope anyway there. He might even make it. Run, bitch! Run! Yeah, definitely running there. Meanwhile, you can see the other world just firing a frenzy of dice. It doesn't matter anymore. Troll actually makes the roll. Woo, he got lucky there, but as you can see, once again, Jade, say it with me, lad, another one in nine. I've been trying to keep track of the trot. He's improved a little bit finally, but still way too many one in nines rolled by the underworld team this game. Oh, look, there's the skull. I had to say something about that. It doesn't matter! Yeah, it didn't matter one iota here. Man, welcome to turn 16 here. Here come the dwarves running back here. They can possibly actually stop this one here. It depends if he actually really makes an effort. 
All right, well, he's being smart about it. He's actually standing everyone up here. There we go. All right, Sunshine, run your little... Notice here, dwarves. Not a single reroll needed for the entire second half. Not one. That's his dice. Big it there. Aye. Yeah, indeed, it's another KO. Why is this no surprise here? Well, he moves an eligible receiver here. The ball's never going to get here, but he moves them there. Uh, did you forget to do something? My God, he did. Good Lord, he forgot. You fool! Oh well, Underworld's gonna take that one. Thank you kindly. We're gonna score two to one. Yep, you got Who's that up? right. Yep, Underworld finally gets one back. The Dwarf Coach completely mucks up. No re-rolls needed. The entire second half, flawless dice. He still almost finds a way to piss the game away. And even then, Underworld still scores when he shouldn't have even had a chance to score there because the Dwarves completely fell asleep on the job. Here, what are the odds it was going to succeed? Say it with me, better than average. And yet, Underworld steals the score. I give full credit to the coach for just keeping it a weird, absolutely weird game. Well, that's the first one for today. Guess what? Here, because it's Thanksgiving up here in the Commonwealth, we got ourselves a letter. So stay tuned. We'll get ready. We're going to show you another one out of the AD Invitational. So, Nuffle, bless your dice.